Sometimes the simplest of innovations are the best. And this next design is exactly that. Naomi, you're leading me into your bedroom and to your open wardrobe. Yes. You are well done. I would never do that. Mine's too messy. It wasn't always this way. What was your problem? Basically, there was two things that were happening when I wanted to get anything on or off. Oh, yes, I exactly. I was I stretching my clothes. Yes. <laughs> and it was just so difficult. I thought these were going to be amazing. Well, I, I have got those and I thought yeah. they were too. Yeah, and I, and I decked my whole wardrobe out in these at one point and uh, they kept breaking. These kept coming yeah. off. So, Rick, yes. you're the problem solver of your family. I am. You saw Naomi struggling. What was it that you thought, oh, I think I can design a new hanger? I've always been a critical thinker and uh, one day I was watching Naomi trying to hang up some clothes with a newborn on her hip and she was struggling. What did you see as the actual design issues there? For people like me who are very impatient, I break them. Uh, so second, by doing bending they're, they're and stuff fragile, like this? They're just fragile and you're impatient. Yep. You want to just pull them off, off, yep. the, off the hanger yep. and they snap. Uh, secondly, uh, time. We wanted something that's versatile, quick, you can get your washing done and get it in so you can spend more time with the kids and less time frustrated with yeah. daily chores. Yeah, I, I agree. And, and more time for you to do your reno. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> I had an idea. Uh, I went and saw Form Designs and uh, I gave them the idea of it flexing so it's easy to get the clothes onto the hanger. So, wow. And it went from there. Rick actually brought us a prototype that he made. And with this prototype, he had two arms that moved. So this is like this. Oh, I yeah. see, it's all wobbly. Yeah. Okay, yep. Initially, we knew that the two arms moving probably wouldn't work. So we go to the 3D first. It's like a scissor action. After the sketch and after the 3D, we do a 3D print. And then that becomes your prototype. That's correct. After it's tooled and all the little tweaks are done, it's ready for pilot production, which allows this to be mass produced. Can it be recycled? So yes, this material is recyclable. Well, that is uh, very impressive. Are you proud of it? Did you I work? Am. Yeah. <laughs> you guys did an amazing job. I've seen how this innovation has been manufactured. Now I want to see how it's changed your life. Tell me, how do you get this sequin number out? <laughs> but with one hand. Yeah, it's really quite simple now. <laughs> Just like wow. that. And I hear that, Aria, you can also hang up your clothes. Press the little button. When you want to take it off. Yeah, and pull it out. And then when you want to put it back on, you just slide it in here. Yeah. And then I click it this way, and then it's hung up. The Humble Coat Hanger hasn't come far since its first design incarnation in the 1860s. The clothed folding hanger is going to be a game changer and will become a wardrobe necessity. Imagine you're one day away from launching a product you've been working on for a really long time. But then something happens, something that changes everything. Not only do you have to relaunch your product, but you actually have to remember what it was. So here I was just moments away from launching my innovation and we're at uh, a curve just like this at an intersection where there was a red light. A drunk driver came around the corner and didn't even see us, he slammed into the car that we were sitting in. And, uh, and I was knocked out at the scene and I ended up with a severe traumatic brain injury and I was in a coma for two weeks. So here I was just moments away from having that innovation success and I couldn't remember who I was, I couldn't remember my name. The idea, the innovation itself, I had no idea what it was. How do you rebuild from something like that? The first thing was learning how to communicate in a way. I've actually got some really beautiful photos. Mum and Dad got me and the, the nurses got me to try and write things down. Mm -hmm. And the first thing that I wrote down, which it looks like a two-year-old wrote it, was I'm in pain. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Emotional. Yes. So this innovation that we keep hearing about, well, what is it? Well, Sarah, it's called a window weather guard. Right. And it fits to the outside fixed frame of a sliding window and it's put on with high performance double sided tape and that enables you to slide the window open around about 120 millimeters and maintain a constant fresh air flow through your window while keeping out of the rain. 
And so this particular DIY version, it's for all existing homes. So what about new homes? This is the new window version where I designed a profile of a fly screen frame that has a groove in it that allows the weather guard to self-lock or self-mate into that groove. How nice is it if you can keep out the flies, yeah. but also keep out the rain? You've come so far and I just feel really inspired. Sure have, Sarah, and I've met some amazing people along the way. Speaking of that... Is that Jack Thompson? Hey, good day, Andrew. G'day, Jack. How are you, mate? So... Yeah, good, mate. Good. So how do you two know each other? Oh, uh, it goes back a few years, doesn't it, Andrew? Uh, well, we met through a mutual friend. Uh, I've admired the invention and admired Andrew ever since I met him. This is a very useful, practical invention. We all ought to have them on our windows, obviously. If that's not a good testimony, I don't know what is. <laughs> So Andrew, you're an Aussie guy, it's Aussie made, Aussie designed, Aussie manufacturing, and I mean, Jack Thompson, it doesn't get any more Australian than that. That's right, Sarah, and it's something that I'm really proud of. A bit of rain, eh? Nothing more Aussie than an afternoon sun shower. When faced with adversity, a lot of people shy away. But Andrew, he's done the complete opposite. That determination and grit that he had, it's such an incredible journey.